Hello again sports fans, welcome to JTV Sports Nigeria. If you're joining us for the first time, please do well to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. Nigeria Super Falcons have moved up 8 places from 40th to 32nd team in the world according to the latest women's ranking released by FIFA on Friday. In the list by the World Football Governing Body, the 11-time African champions maintain its position as the number one female national team on the continent. The impressive leap by the Falcons in the latest rankings is largely due to the team's stellar outing at the just-concluded 2023 Women's World Cup. Nigerian team made it into the second round of the competition after a draw against Canada in their first game, a win against co-host Australia in their second match and a draw against the Republic of Ireland which helped them qualify out of Group B with five points. The Falcons dragged European champions and eventual finalist England to penalty shootout where they lost 4-2 in their second-round action-packed encounter. Despite Spain lifting the World Cup trophy in Australia, it is Sweden that claimed the top spot in the latest FIFA rankings, with the La Roja making it to the second spot from fourth. The Scandinavians dethroned the USA who are now third down from second. Spanish football chief Luis Rubias refused to resign on Friday after a week of widespread criticism for his unsolicited kiss on the lips of player Jenny Hermoso following Spain's Women's World Cup triumph. Rubias, 46, had been expected to step down as president of the Spanish Football Federation, IFEF, after government ministers and figures within sport demanded his resignation and world football's governing body FIFA opened disciplinary proceedings against him. But he was defiant in a speech at an emergency meeting of the Football Federation. I will not resign, I will not resign, I will not resign, shouted Rubios. A consensual peck is enough to get me out of here. I will fight until the end, he added. Rubios said the pressure he has received this week from politicians and clubs was an attempt to publicly assassinate me and said he would defend himself by taking action against those people. His words were applauded by controversial Spain's women's coach Jorge Vilda, as well as several others at the meeting. The IFEF chief claimed his kiss on Hamoso's lips was consensual and done in the same spirit as kissing his child. It was a spontaneous kiss, mutual, euphoric, and consensual, said Rubios. Hamoso had released a statement Wednesday saying women players Union Fort Pro were defending her interest. Fort Pro said Rubios' actions should not go unpunished. On Friday, the IFEF chief railed against false feminism and said he had been haunted since taking the job in May 2018. When I make a mistake it hurts me and I ask for forgiveness without softening it, but I do not deserve this hunt that I have been suffering for five years, every day for five years. I'm going to keep fighting like my parents taught me, like my coaches, my teammates. Rubios referred to his critics and insisted his kiss could not be compared to sexual assault. For God's sake, what will women think who have really been sexually assaulted, said Rubios. His refusal to resign and his fiery speech prompted a rapid reaction from politicians. What we have seen today at the Federation Assembly is unacceptable, wrote Second Deputy Prime Minister Yolanda Diaz on social network X, formerly known as Twitter. The government must act and take urgent measures, impunity for mutual actions is over. Rubios cannot continue in office. Spain's High Council of Sport, CSD, said it would take action against Rubios. As of this moment, I have just activated all the instruments within the CSD to take the appropriate measures that are in our hands, CSD President Victor Francos told radio station Cadena C. We will analyze the complaints, analyze the case, they have not formally sent us a report, but I said that this was not going to delay the process. He continued, Today I can already announce that we are going to take the case to the TAD, Spain Sports Court. I am sincerely surprised. La Liga president Javier Tebos, who has frequently sparred with Rubias and the IFEF, was heavily critical. The misogynistic gestures, foul expressions, disastrous protocol and insults of this latest global embarrassment come as no surprise, said Tebos on X. The list of women and men wronged by Luis Rubios in this years is too long and this must stop. Rubios did offer one apology for grabbing his crotch during the celebrations of the 1-0 win against England in the final while standing next to Spain's Queen Letizia. I want to say sorry for the deeds that happened in a moment of euphoria. I grabbed that part of my body and did so looking at Jorge Vilda, 
the coach, he said on Friday. I was so emotional, I lost control and I took my hands there. Along with the presidents of Atletico Madrid, Real Sociedad and Sevilla, among other clubs, the Spanish Players Association, AFE, which Rubios formerly chaired, had called for him to step down. In the event that Mr. Rubios does not resign immediately, the AFE demands that the relevant sports law be applied, said the association in a statement Tuesday. We demand that the relevant authorities adopt the necessary and forceful measures that an episode of these characteristics deserves due to its seriousness. Rubias also said he had started the process of offering Coach Vilda a new deal on a €500,000 $540,000 salary. Spain arrived at the tournament in Australia and New Zealand shrouded in controversy after 15 players refused to play because of disagreements with the federation and complaints about Vilda's methods, although some relented and three formed part of the winning squad. Meanwhile, Spanish striker Borja Iglesias quit the men's national team on Friday after Federation President Luis Rubias refused to resign following his unsolicited kiss on the lips of a star of the Women's World Cup. The real Betis forward, who has played twice for his country, most recently in March, took a stand against the Spanish Football Federation IFF, chief's decision to refuse to quit. Rubias, 46, provoked world outrage by grabbing Hermoso by the head and kissing her on the lips during the medal ceremony after Spain beat England 1-0 to triumph in the final in Sydney on Sunday. As a player and as a person I do not feel represented by what happened, said Iglesias on social network X, formerly known as Twitter. Wearing the Spain shirt is one of the best things that has happened to me in my career. I don't know if in another moment I will be available again but I have taken the decision not to return to the national team until things change, and this type of acts don't go unpunished. He added he was acting for a more just, human and decent football. In refusing to stand down on Friday, Rubial said in a defensive and fiery speech at a Football Federation emergency meeting that he was suffering a public assassination and railed against false feminism. The Federation president claimed his kiss was mutual, euphoric and consensual. For more content from us, please do well to subscribe to the channel and put on the notification bell. Thanks for watching.